Anthony Grillo, AMG 4K, checking in, trying to get two minutes, two minutes of peace and quiet around here, just to bring you the quick update. I got two dogs outside going bananas. I got a wife who's watching Downtown Abbey like it's going out of style, so uh, here's my two minutes. I hope, I, I hope I can squeeze it in. I'm already 20 seconds in, so I'm running late. Anyway, today's January 9th. Here's the update for the D750 issue. Nikon's basically going to put out instructions at the end of January and what to do for for us with the issue if we want to fix it and at no cost to us which is very very important because uh, I prefer not to pay any, any more money to, to Nikon at this point for uh, the D750. Um, so basically they were going to they announced today that we plan to initiate the service at the end of January and will announce further details including instructions for requesting service shortly. So thumbs up for that. That is a happy happy message to end the week on. It's Friday um, and I'm happy that uh, this has been rectified at, as, uh, as of today, I guess. They, they're acknowledging the fact they did it rather fast, so I'm impressed by that. Um, I think a lot of the, uh, the, the videos on the, inter the internet and uh, YouTube was a real component in making sure that that did happen. And, you know, um, we didn't have another issue like the D600. So I'm happy to see and report that this is where we are. I'll put a link below to, uh, to this webpage. But thanks so much for watching. I'm Anthony. This is AMG4K. Happy shooting, and I'll talk to everybody very, very soon. Have a good one.